In your first few weeks of classes, your lecturers and demonstrators will generally tell you what books you will need for the course and what books you might need to pass. Not all of these books are compulsory, which can be good because some of them are really expensive. I suggest not to buy them before your lecture really starts. Lecturers will point you towards the co-op bookshop um, where you'll be able to buy books um, brand new. If they're too expensive, there are always a library with textbooks to borrow. I recommend looking at the second-hand um, textbook shop uh, that you'll be able to find um, some textbooks spare from previous students. Um, at much cheaper prices than you'd find in um, a new bookstore. If you're buying a textbook and you want a certain edition of it, if you can find like a book which has just one less edition, for example, if you want a fourth edition and you can find a second-hand book for a third edition, I usually do find most of the information is quite similar. But do um, ask your lecturer about that. If you find the way around uni, it can be an overwhelming experience, especially for me personally, I came from a really small school. You'll notice signs that are on the walls, they will generally direct you to the buildings you need to go to. And if you're really confused where you're going, there will always be security. So the first number is the building, and then there's level, um, and then there's the room number. You can also speak to students who are wandering around or staff members who you see, a lot of them already know where it where all these buildings are and where these classes are. When you enrol, um, you'll enrol into your subjects and then you'll get a timetable generated. You'll be able to go back and find that on my student admin, on my subject activities as well, and you can print that out. You'll get an email from the university which will ask you to um, register, for, register for an enrollment session. Click um, the link and it'll take you to the website and you can reset the password. Then you will have an email address, a student number. Once you have enrolled, then you can go and get your student ID from the student centre of your faculty. All around campus you'll find heaps of little computer stations um, that are scattered around and you'll be able to use those anytime that you want. All you need is your student number and password and you can log in. See, obviously you've got the library, there's plenty of um, computers over there. There's also computer labs and you can go into those, they're just rooms. Um, you first have to check on the door if there's a class or not, but if not, go ahead. We have a free internet access here, 24 hours a day. Wherever there's a desk and a cube, you can sit on it um, and study away. Lectures are aimed to basically introduce the topic. It normally runs from one hour to two hours. Don't stress if you can't stay up to date with what the lecturer is saying, if you can't write fast enough, because a lot of the time these lectures will be uploaded online. I wouldn't recommend missing one. Um, especially if they're three hours long and you have exams at the end of semester. If you are running late, it's not a problem. Um, you can just sneak into the back of the lecture theatre and pick up from where the lecture is up to at that time. I was a bit shocked at first to find that some lecture rooms have doors at the front, so if you're running late and you come in, you walk in the front and uh, everyone sees that you're late. It's quite normal for you know, people to walk in and out of lectures. Obviously the lecturers don't um, prefer that, but it ends up happening that way. The attendance isn't marked, so it's a good chance to, um, for people to not go because they think, what's the point, no one will miss me. Um, but yeah, come exam time, that will really catch up with you. Tutorials are um, basically a smaller scale um, study sessions, which you usually would find that happen in subjects. Because they're a smaller group, you do find it's quite easy to talk with people in that. University is a big place. There are lots and lots of students around. And I think if you want to make friends and actually feel like you're a part of the community, your first stop is orientation day. Um, come along to the orientation day, you'll be able to find lots of stalls of um, all the different groups that UTS offers. Specific for different people's needs, which may be political, religious, cultural, um, even just social clubs. I think it's more than 200 different clubs and societies for you to get involved in. There are things like the UTS Gym and the Multi-Purpose Sports Centre, which run competitive and social sporting activities, which anyone can sign up for. If you are feeling overwhelmed, uh, there are counsellors here at UTS. There are other students who will have gone through the same things that you're thinking about now. You'll be able to find that number on the website. 